Hey everyone, CJ and Aya here. Uh, welcome to Author Journey, uh, where I give real advice for the aspiring author. Uh, whether you're starting out or whether you've been doing this for a while, I hope that this is a place that you can come to to get some good advice on writing, publishing, and marketing your books. Um, so I'm always taking questions, I'm always excited to help people, and a question that I have been getting a lot lately is what genre should I write in for the fiction author? Um, I, I, this is actually really funny because I get this question even from authors who have already written uh, in a specific genre. Maybe they want to, to, to branch out a little bit, so I think this is a good uh, recap, just kind of a good video. Uh, full of information that's going to help you no matter where you are on your author journey. Uh, so just uh, to get started, um, I'm going to list four ways that you could uh, figure out, you know, which genre you prefer to write in. There, I'm, there, I'm sure there are others, uh, but we'll just go over four ways, and and then you can go from there and and figure out what you want to do. Um, the first way I would suggest uh, figuring out what genre you want to write in is. Uh, just figuring out what you like to read most. Uh, many times whatever you're passionate about writing about is is what you've been reading about. So I grew up loving young adult fiction, uh, more specifically urban fantasy. So that is exactly what I write. I write teen urban fantasy uh, because I've read it so much I understand the genre, I understand uh, the way it's structured, and I know what a lot of those readers are interested in. So if you can just focus on uh, the things that you read the most, then, then you can be passionate about that and, and write about the things that you read the most. Um, uh, if, if you're the type of person who really loves all sorts of different genres, then you may need to narrow it down a bit, but whichever one you feel the most passionate about at the time, uh, just pick one and go with it and, uh, and, and see where it takes you. The, the second way, uh, that you can figure out which genre you should be writing in is uh, by writing to market. I don't know if you've ever heard that phrase before, but basically when you write to market, you study what is marketable, what is most popular at the moment, what's trending uh, in, the, in the book biz, in the fiction biz. Um, and so the best way to do that is to go to Amazon and uh, let's say that you're looking at romance, you want to see how popular that is, just type in romance novels, look at the first 20 that pop up, and, and click on one that, that seems interesting to you, um, and just see what the sales rank is. You just scroll down a little bit, and you can see the sales rank on the bottom, uh, and you can see how popular it is based on the sales rank. You can also read the blurb and get a feel for... Uh, the type of romance that's selling really well because it's not just the the huge genre because romance is kind of a, a balloon genre it's got a lot of subgenres that you could delve into that would really narrow it down um, and that you may find are more popular than others so you've got uh, paranormal romance super popular uh, you also have time travel romance that's an interesting subgenre to write in there is also contemporary romance that's really huge, but it's really it's really uh, competitive. So, so if I were ever going to go into the romance genre, I'd kind of narrow it down to smaller categories. So, if you want to write to market, you want to find something that's really popular but not too competitive. Uh, so, time travel is is really good. Western romances are super good. Um, also, sports romances. I know that, that that seems like a new thing, but there's there's uh, athletes uh, books about athletes. They write uh, romance novels for that. So, so just study those subgenres, um, and then when you when you find one that kind of fits that category of being very popular and trending, but also not too competitive, start reading books. Like read about ten books. Um, get a feel for uh, what's popular, the themes that you can find in those books, the types of things that you see over and over again. I'm not telling you to be a cliche. I'm just telling you to write to market, write about what's popular, uh, write, write what's selling, basically. So there's another way to figure that out. Um, number three, and, and this is something I love, is, is write what you know. Uh, Robert Bailey, he's he's a a, a pretty uh, famous author, kind of in the in the PI detective book series biz, and uh, you know PI mysteries are are a, a subgenre of the mystery category. 
and he used to be a private detective, a, a private investigator. Um, and so uh, he's used all of his knowledge, all his 20 plus years of, of knowledge to, to uh, and, and brought it to the fiction realm. So you could do that. Um, if you're an athlete and you're interested in writing a romance, you could do the, you know, the sports romances that, that I talked about. So that's a really nice subgenre there. Um, if you're a forensic pathologist, or I don't even know if that's a thing, I might have mixed my meta my uh, terms there. But but whatever profession you have, if you can bring it uh, to fiction books, then you should, um, because you'll you'll know a lot about it. It won't take a ton of research, although research is a great thing for any author, um, and and you'll be passionate about it too. So write what you know. Write about real life experiences you've had. Um, write about things that have happened in the workplace. <sighs> write about a horrible breakup and see where it takes you. Write, uh, write about friendships. Write about uh, family problems. Write about health issues. Um, and put it in a fictitious setting and see where it takes you. And then once you do that, you can figure out what genre uh, that is heading more towards and decide, oh, you know what, I think I want to take it there. But just make sure that you get it, you, you narrow it down to subgenres too so that it's not so broad and people can, can find what you're looking for. Um, and then the fourth way, the, the last thing that I want to talk about is, is uh, use writing prompts. Sometimes you don't know what genre you want to write in and you don't even have a story or an idea. And if you can figure out an idea, it can drive you towards the, the best genre for you. So a writing prompt is like one or two, maybe even three sentences that just pose a scenario for you. Like um, a woman named Blank uh, wakes up one morning and finds a, a mysterious tattoo on her arm and she doesn't know how she got it and she doesn't know what it means. So, so you have to come up with that. That's, like a, that's a writing prompt. Um, so if you, if you Google writing prompts, you could finally probably find some. But th those are fun uh, little writing exercises. Um, I've actually created a PDF of about 20 writing prompts that you could you could take a look at. That's in the link below. You just click on it. You can download it for free. Um, but it might inspire some ideas and, and just go over them, look through them. And if there's one that kind of hits you, um, then you can consider how you might develop that. And uh, if you turn it into a romance, then you can decide if you want it to be a, a paranormal romance or a contemporary romance. Um, and that's another way for you to figure out which which genre you want to write in, but for sure click on that, that link below, grab that, that PDF, and uh, take a look at the writing prompts, because even if you already know what genre you write in, maybe you don't have a story idea, and that's one way that, that you could get one. So those, those exercises, those types of writing exercises are always really helpful for authors. They help me. I love to look at writing prompts. And um, some people might say, well, if a ton of people are looking at the same writing prompts, they're going to write the same book, and there's absolutely no way no way that they're going to write the same book. It's just nice to present a cool scenario and then you get to take it for a test drive and you get to explore that option and you get to see where your imagination takes you. Uh, and that's super exciting. So I, I think it would be really interesting if you took one of those writing prompts um, that I have in that PDF and wrote that story. And I would love it if you just like emailed me and let me know how that went um, because I'd love to read it. So. Anyway, those are the four ways uh, that you could possibly find which genre would be, would be best for you to write in. I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was, please comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any other ideas, comment below, and I would love to hear them too. Um, and then if you have any questions, let me know. This came from a, a question, an email I got from, from someone who's just starting out. So I really like to answer these questions that, that real authors have and people who are thinking about writing a book have. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments below. Please click the like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye-bye.